Hello everybody, this is the Dermlite DL200 Dermatoscope. Now today I'm just going to be showing you the equipment to learn how to use it and to interpret what you see. Do come along to one of the PCDS Dermoscopy for Absolute Beginners courses. So this Dermlite is a nice little piece of equipment. It has two switches. There is a switch on this side and there's a switch on this side. The one on this side, which is your thumb size as you hold it, turns it on and also switches between, sorry, turns it on and the one on the other side switches it between polarized and non-polarized light. So you can just make out, you may be able to make out the slight difference in quality of the light there. That's how you switch it. There is an indicator to show whether it's in polarized or non-polarized mode, but with the silicon cover on, it's quite difficult to see it. So there's a little light there that is on now because it's polarized and is going off when it's non-polarized. And if I take the silicon, pull the silicon cover back, you may be able to see that slightly better. So that's it polarized and that's it non-polarized. You can just about see that there. There are also four little lights here that show you how, um, how much charge is left in the battery. So that's turning it on and switching modes. Now focusing it, to focus it, you twist this part here and the end plate will extend. There's the end plate extending like that. And it does not have a marker to show you where it's perfectly focused for a flat lesion. So you have to do that manually by eye. To take the end plate off, there are two ways to do it. Now, the reasons you would want to take the end plate off are to clean the inside of it, because clearly this is open. And so you can get dust on the inside of the end plate. And the other reason you might want to take the end plate off is to look at a vascular lesion where you don't want to compress the surface vessels. So there are two ways to take the end plate off. The first way is by super extending it. So you normally would extend it until you feel a little bit of, of um, resistance there. If you take it beyond that, it will click and push it out so that you can then just remove these uh, on the three little pins and then you can clean the end plate. So that's for cleaning it. To put it back in, you just put them back on like that and then twist them and it will catch again. However, if you want to look at the surface vessels of something without compressing them, you can leave that bit in so that you can still rest it against the skin, but remove the end plate. There's a little bit here that you can just put your fingernail in and clip it out like that. So now we have an end plate there and we can have a look at a lesion through it in polarized mode without um, compressing the vessels on the surface. However, when you do that, when you go to put the end plate back on, you need to make sure you clip it on properly because if you don't, it can appear to be attached, but will fall off when you do that. So what you need to do is to make sure when you put it back on that you clip it in firmly all the way round and just check that it is properly attached going all the way round. Otherwise it might just fly off and get lost and roll under the end of your couch or something like that. So that's that one. Um, for hygiene purposes, it comes with a few of these disposable end caps. You can purchase more and they just clip onto the end plate like so, and then you can use it like that. So that's ideal for a wet lesion, something that's bleeding or something on a mucous membrane. And then it can just be disposed of afterwards and it can be used either wet or dry. The polarization does work when you have the caps on the surface. There is a small contact plate available for it. It doesn't come with it as standard, so I haven't got it. And if you want to attach a camera to it, this is a derm light and it will work with all of the derm light adapters. So for example, here is a phone in a case with a magnetic adapter like that. And 
this one here is the Dermlite Universal Adapter, which again attaches to it magnetically and has a good strong pickup. One thing that is worth pointing out though, is that if you have focused it and then you attach the phone, it's quite tricky to adjust the focus when you've got the phone attached. It's not impossible, it can be done. But the nice thing about it is that you can adjust the alignment of the phone to it without altering the focusing on the dermatoscope. The charger type that it comes with is a standard mini USB, which is the same one as most mobile phones will be these days. And so you're unlikely to get caught without a charger just in case it does um, come without one, or just in case you haven't got one and it isn't charged. Something to just be aware of with the Dermlight um, dermatoscopes is that the Heine Universal Adapter will not work with a Dermlight dermatoscope because this bit sticks out too much. It needs a flat magnetic adapter. Um, it's a good size, so it fits really comfortably into my hand. It's a good pocket size and is absolutely ideal for an individual. And it comes with this little fabric case to protect it. So it'll go in there and that will fit very nicely into a pocket. The real strength of this one is it's got fantastic optics. The quality of the picture you're going to get is excellent. The end plate is a good size without being too small and without being too big to be able to get into small areas. Um, the only possible downside of it is that these little, these three little plastic legs may be um, may prove not to be quite as robust as some of the other dermatoscopes that don't have small bits of plastic like that. Having said that, I've had no problems with it at all and would have no hesitation in recommending it. And as I say, for the moment, I'm just showing you the equipment, but to learn how to use it, please do visit the PCDS website, pcds.org.uk, where we have um, links for all of the courses that we do, including Dermoscopy for Absolute Beginners, and there are more advanced Dermoscopy courses available there as well. So that was the Dermlite DL200 Hybrid. <laughs>